Well, hello there. Uh, this is uh, Elton McFall of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and I'm uh, pleased to offer you one of my other beautiful uh, and perhaps rare uh, vintage advertisements. And what you're looking at here is a beautiful original 1951 uh, Nash Carad. And you have your ambassador there, and uh, uh, I think that's a statesman or a little rambler anyway. This is more of the one we had here in Canada, the Statesman. I think it looked like this, but maybe smaller. Only sold in Canada. But this is an American ad. Yeah, Nash Air Flight. Yeah. It's no wonder a lot, so many, all, all uh, cars of the 50s are collectible. It's when they came out with these jazzy terms, post-war designs, too. You know, it's just, it just seems like the sky was the, sky was the limit. And... Uh, Show up here. I just want to give you a close up here. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Uh, rare, very rare to find. Uh, you know, paper, a magazine cover, because um, that's what this is. I'm going to turn it over in a minute to show you what it is on the other side. But it's rare to find a magazine cover that's in such excellent, exceptional condition, considering that this ad is like 62 years old. This paper is 62 years old. You know, it's not perfect, but it's really nice. It would look really great framed. I can do that for you. I'm only asking five bucks for this ad. It's definitely worth ten. And um, 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 I can frame it. If you live in Quebec or Montreal or uh, Ontario, New Brunswick, New York, Vermont, whatever, and you're ever coming through here, well, just uh, draw me a line and uh, I could frame that for you. I'd sell the whole thing only fifteen bucks. And look at this. You have a beautiful Saturday evening post and magazine cover here. Uh, from uh, dated October 20th, 1951. And Saturday Evening Post, like a few other magazines in the old days, really believed in art and showcased their magazine covers were always these beautiful uh, detailed paintings of a... Uh, uh, what was that guy's name again? That famous, uh, famous artist there, Norman Rockwell, or uh, what was his name, the other guy? Anyway, it's just really neat. It's just a nice... Uh, just a nice train station theme here. Train whooshing by. Hey, when I was growing up in uh, in the bu the suburbs of Montreal in Roxborough in the 80s, okay, the train, uh, the commuter train line, we still had train cars this old now from the 20s, 30s. They were still in service. The locomotives were even older and they were diesel. So, if you're interested in this item, I believe the shipping... Uh, in Canada and the U.S. is about six, seven dollars. Abroad, it'll be a little bit more. And of course, I would put this in a, you know, with a cardboard of the same size, so it doesn't get, so it doesn't get damaged or ripped. Go like this, see? just like that. It's a rare French '63 Plymouth ad. And this concludes our tour. And just to show you what a nut I am, I'll show. Show you who I am here. That's me, Elton McFall. How are you? This is, uh, I think it's important to show yourself. It's not something I ever did in the past because, uh, I don't know, I wanted to keep an anim anonymity, but, you know, I, if I'm going to be selling a lot of things, people want to be able to see who they're, who they're dealing with, you know? Especially in this robotic world, we've become something I'll never, never be. Just to show you some of my collection here, as I'm very proud to show it off. Not like I have a lot of people over here, you know? I am an artist. We are uh, we are kind of aloof. So uh, yeah, not really. These models aren't really for sale. Neither is that jukebox replica. A whole bunch of ads here. Some of them I framed. All this stuff I framed here, I should say. All these things you see framed, I did myself. And that's it. So hey, uh, if you uh, like what you saw and you heard. Uh, Give me a thumbs up, and if not, well, you know, hey, kind of like everybody. Have a nice day, this evening, nice morning. Bye-bye.